Well, ICAST 2016 was an absolute blast. It was so much fun seeing all our kayaking people all in one spot. After hanging out with all these great fishing folks, we surely hate to go. But before we do, let's look at a couple more products. You got a good looking display. You like it? I love it, man. This looks awesome. Ooh. Roto molding. You got it. Yeah, no more problem with that. Good yeah. looking, huh, Tracy? Yeah, oh, thank you, Henry. Yeah, busting through the surf. And it's fun, but man, sometimes when you <laughs> land, it takes Madville that night. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got Scott here with me with Wahoo Fishing Products. Well, this is a uh, hard resin plastic. It's virtually indestructible. Yeah. Um, I've caught 300 pound sharks on it, um, all kinds of tarpon, snook. Uh, we actually designed it for sight fishing cobia, and uh, it's got a real slow sink rate. It sinks about a foot every five or six seconds. It can actually, if you want it to, to remain on top of the water, just slight jerks of the rod, you can keep it right on top. It's got a, it comes with a 10 aught mustad hooks. We've got 10 colors available. All around great lure just for any kind of surface feeding fish. Actually, they're available in all, most coastal bass pro shops. Well, if you've ever been in the yak and you've seen a cobia come up, and we all have, I mean, that's something to pitch to them that won't just make a lot of racket and sink. Yeah, the so, weight on it's an uh, ounce and a quarter. There you go. And uh, so it's... <laughs> It's castable, but it's not going to sink like a rock. Yeah, yeah, you can go to, to wahoofishingproducts.com. Uh, Y'all saw it right here, ICAST 2016. What? Check this out. I, had, I just came to a screeching home and I passed by it. Ah! Look how it goes in that little bitty box. You break it all apart. Your mid frame goes up in here. Your pontoons go in there. And you basically lower the lid, latch it up, and you're ready to go. No. I talk to a lot of young guys in college and stuff living in a city. Uh, I fished with one guy that had to use a 10-foot yak because he had a balcony and that was it. This could fit that bill, you know, for a lot of guys that are minimal space. So. If you look at that box right over there that's sitting in the, on the uh, edge of the thing, it fits in that box. That box is actually FedExable and UPSable with no oversized charges. It's kind of a combination kayak kickboat uh, okay. where you can sit in the middle between the two pontoons. You put your feet right here. And when your back gets tired or you want to steer with your feet, you just put your feet down in the water on the sides right here. You can actually use your feet to kick turn it and spin it in a 360 degree turn. 500 pound capacity over here, that's a 250 pound capacity there. Oh yeah, it fits in every truck. Yeah, well I sure appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks for coming by. Where can they see you? Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Uncharted Watercraft and mm -hmm. also on our website, UnchartedWatercraft.com. All right. Let's go talk to Marty. Hey, okay, what's up? 30 miles out. Well, you know what happens to Fluke Master when he goes 30 miles out? <laughs> Two miles, I start puking. What's going on over here, Marty? <laughs> welcome back. Yeah. Welcome to the Running around talking to everybody. For y'all who don't know who I am, my name's Fluke Master. But all I do is that salt water, I catch those little green fish. Do it if you guys are want to get away from that salt water stuff and go into the fresh water stuff, I'm the one that teach you how to do it. Okay? Call them big mouth bass, I have to <laughs> Big mouth bass. <laughs> Chad calls them dish pickles. Dish pickles. <laughs> yeah, dish pickles. Good old Chad. Right. Oh my god! Yeah, we got a bunch of new kayaks. They float on the water and they come with paddles. Marty's on their sales they team, he's the top sales team. with his brand. I'm here with Chris Peterson, True Rec Kayaks. So tell me a little bit about it. Like you said, we've been prototyping for a long time. Uh, we had to dial everything in and get it perfect. When they're deployed, it ends up being around uh, almost eight feet wide at that point. We simply release here, rotate out, and then down to the water. You do it from the seated position, so you just reach behind you, rotate down. Nice. And then it's reverse to go back in. A little handle here, simply go up, and then you touch right here, and shut it. Wow. I take this boat offshore. I do a lot of uh, rock fishing out in California. Yeah. Uh, do a lot of free diving as well. We have this unique feature where you can remove the side rails here. What that does is it opens up this area so you can stage yourself you dive in, put your fins on, or if you're fishing, you can just sit here with your feet on it, not have to worry about it flipping over. It's almost like a paddleboard for a couple feet. I'll use this turf kit here, it's got a couple of feet, 
this is the absolute best paddling position that's the center of gravity on the boat. And so you can use it as like a stand-up paddleboard. So this will fit six foot rods forward, seven foot rods backwards towards the aft. And then there's a molded in battery compartment here, it's sealed. So it'll fit the uh, eight amp hour battery. The seat is on tracks. So the seat can go forward and back four inches. And also you can release it with the strap get it out of the way so you have more deck space. We're using Yak Attack and we're also using Ram accessories. So on the Fishing Edition kayak, this plate will come with every kayak. And same with the uh, Tube Juniors. Really? So cool. it has a lot of diving features into it and we did that because it's true rec, you know, truly recreational. Mm -hmm. would, hence the name here, Dive, Fish, Paddle, DFP. Well I sure appreciate it Chris. Well there you go, there's a look at the True Rec Kayak. ICAST 2016 was a blast. Can't wait for next year. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, right here on 30 Miles Out.